Sister Mary, you know here missions ministry going to Jamaica. Really? Yes, my dear, and them accepting donations from now through August 19. What kind of donations them want? All type of things like them want non-perishable food items with the expiration date from 2019 and later. And them are look for powdered food, dry goods and some liquid goods, school supplies, toiletries for men, women and children. So who collecting these things? Any member of the missions ministry. And them can even give you a complete list of what them want. Okay, I'm going to start getting up my things. When them need them by again? Between now and August 19. Calling all women. Join us for our monthly women's prayer line call. It happens the first Saturday of each month at 7 a.m. Eastern Time, 6 a.m. Central Time. Join women from around the nation as we connect with one another and draw closer to God in prayer. A praying woman is a powerful woman. The number to dial is 712-432-0075. Use access code 502-676-POUND. Again, call 712-432-0075. Use access code 502-676-POUND. Send your prayer requests and praise reports to Women's Ministry at UnitedCovenantChurches.com. Together, we are more powerful. Together, we can make a difference. Together, we can move mountains. We'll be listening for you on the next call. Ladies, mark your calendars because on Saturday, August 11th, we will be gathering together to collect towards the Undergarment Foundation. We have been blessed to be a blessing, and therefore, it is a privilege to be able to do for someone less fortunate than yourself. We will be collecting bras, panties, and various undergarments of all sizes from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. at 3303 Glenwood Road between East 34th Street and New York Avenue. Please bring your favorite dish and a donation of underwear for adults and children, girls and boys, to send to Jamaica. Get ready for Manna from Heaven 2018. We will be taking the mountain climb of faith with dynamic guest speakers such as Pastor Eric Mason, Archbishop William Hudson, Pastor Alexander Pagani, and our very own Bishop Eric D. Garns. Save the date for Wednesday, September 12th through Sunday, September 16th. Prepare to be blessed. in church and I started going to church and they started saying things like you need to give a tithe of your income to the local church I said what's that he said it's 10 percent of your income ought to come to the local church I went says you you want me to give you 10 percent of my money yeah show me where it says that and he said here 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 and here (laughs) because I always heard all that church wants is your money have you heard that one he sat down and lovingly walked me through it explained to me the word tithe literally in Hebrew means tenth it means tenth. Now, if you don't want to give a tithe, that's okay. You're not going to hell. That's not the issue. It's not a salvation issue. It's just an instruction on money. Are you going to hell if you don't? No. And you can go to hell if you do. 
You can. There's a guy in Matthew. He does. Jesus said that one's going to hell because he talked about his tithing. And he didn't know Jesus. See, Jesus is the heaven thing. Tithing, these are side issues over here. Okay? And I really struggled with this. I re- when I first started working with God, this was a hard thing for me to give a tenth of my income to the local church. But when it snapped, when I got it, I changed forever, and I've never missed one time. No matter what, whether I was mad at the church. Ever get mad at your church? If you don't, you're not involved. I mean, come on. Really, you know? You get mad. Sometimes they just, they just look goofy, you know? Quit being goofy, and you just get aggravated. But you tithe anyway, because that's where you trust your kids to learn about Jesus. It's where you learn about your marriage. It's where you learn about your spiritual walk. You, that's where you're being fed. So you get the tenth of your income there. And I got thinking, okay, well, now, why does God want us to give a tenth of our income to the local church? Okay, it's because the church needs our money. No, (laughs) seriously, that church does not need your money. You know what that church needs? It needs your involvement, your leadership. It needs you to love Jesus. And the natural byproduct of that is you're going to be a tither. That's what it needs. Well, God needs your money. That's why why the Bible says to tithe, because God needs your money to do his work on the earth. God needs your money. That is so arrogant. And I was. I'm going to help God out. Here comes the plate. So why does God want us to be giving? A tenth? And why do we have offerings to other ministries and do other giving? Why is giving a part of the Christian walk? We are designed from the foundations of the world to be givers. It is who we are. And when we don't, make that a part of our process and how we handle our lives, it caves in on us. And suddenly, our lives get foggy, stressful, relationships start to break down because we're not functioning the way we were designed to function. I was speaking at a big church the other day, and the pastor told me he'd been pastoring 35 years, and he's never had a couple who were in agreement on tithing that had been tithing over an extended period of time get a divorce. He said, really what it is, is when you tithe, it's hard to be selfish, and when you're less selfish, you're a better husband, and you're a better daddy, and you're a better employer, and you're a better employee. Employees who tithe tend to get promoted, and it's not magical and mystical, tithe, zap, no. <laughs> it's not what happens. What happens is you tithe, you're a better person. People notice that. They don't know you're tithing. They just see you're more giving as a person. Those are the people we tend to promote because we're the ones we want around us in leadership. Hello. When we start to give, it turns things loose. We become more creative. We become more passionate. It changes our relationships. We breathe deeper. It's weird. When you start to give of yourself, of your talents, and of your treasure, it changes you. That's why God wants me to give. He's molding me and making me over a little better every day. 